Chris Crone here with Limitless TV, and today I'm gonna to share with you the root cause of my breakthrough, my transformation, the miracles that I've been witnessing in my life, and it comes down to this God mind, the power of the mind, this divine spark that is inside you and I. And you know what? To what extent can you bend this amazing, miraculous tool to create an amazing, miraculous life? We're gonna answer that today on Limitless TV. Our minds are so incredibly powerful. I've been able to witness the power of a mind in my life change so many things. It started when I was 13 years old. I got hives. I don't know if you've ever had hives, but I don't know what happened, but I broke out at the age of 13. I was in the ER and the doctors were holding me down trying to figure out what was wrong because I had thousands of raised red bumps all over my body. I couldn't control them. And from that time moving forward, every summer, I would, when there was the changing of the seasons between winter, between hot and cold, these hives would emerge. 22, newly married, starting to fight the battle of the bulge, right? And deciding, I gotta find a way to get to the gym. And so it was the dead of winter, and I go to the gym, and guess what? My hives are immediately there. I get on the treadmill, I start working up a sweat, that hot and cold mix, and those hives are back. So I got off the treadmill, and I wasn't able to do the cardio that I wanted to, to keep my body fit and healthy. And then I came across a mentor that taught me something really powerful, the power of the mind. And he told me that I would need to harness the power of the three Ps. I would need to come up with an idea that was present, positive, and powerful. And the one that was suggested was, I am whole. I am is present. I am whole, meaning my body is, I'm focusing on the positive. My body is what I want, which is instead of, I don't want hives, it's I want to be whole. I got on the treadmill that next morning, taking his advice, and allowed my mind to become enveloped in this idea. I am whole. I am whole. And I made it a full 60 seconds um, before the hives broke out. And you know what? Frankly, that was like 30 seconds more than I had ever been able to do. The next morning, I decided to, to bend my mind with yesterday's positive evidence and to catapult it into the next day. I got on the treadmill. I had already pre-mentally warmed myself up. I am whole. I am whole. I made it three minutes on the treadmill. Three minutes before the highs presented themselves. The next day, five minutes, 10 minutes. And it came that I could be on the treadmill as long as I wanted and my hives would not present themselves. Well, I started practicing that in, well, my knees were hurting at one point. I didn't want bad knees, so I reversed the effect of my bad knees. I've been able to see it in my finances. I've been able to see it in world travel, helping my children. And manifesting what you want really starts with this idea. I wanna share one more experience that was really powerful because I knew the power of this. And my wife, frankly, she was a little bit skeptical at the time. She's like, well, Chris, that's just you. You've got amazing mind powers. In fact, we were getting ready to give birth to our second child. My wife had, I went through training course to be her birthing coach because she was doing natural childbirth. And three months before having the baby, she got really worried. And I said, honey, why are you so worried? She said, because when I gave birth to our first daughter, Liesl, um, I had a really bad transition. If you understand, what that transition phase is, that's when women go through the most painful aspect, somewhere between full dilation and pushing, there's this unbelievable painful moment. And um, my wife, I, I suggested, I said, why not skip it with the birth of our second child? She said, Chris, you can't skip biology, you can't skip science. I said, are you willing to do an experiment? For three months every day, we just sat down, I put her in meditation, I guided her through these thoughts that she is whole and that she fully dilates and then easily and effortlessly gets to the point of pushing. And we kept doing this visualization and a mental walkthrough without transition. Come the birth of our child, sure enough, it was like a very short two hour birthing experience. And she fully dilated and then all of a sudden, she gave me a squeeze of my hand, didn't make a sound and it was time to push. And 20 minutes later, Kaiser was born and when it was done, she looked at me and she said, I skipped all the pain. I felt nothing but pressure. And she knew that it worked. And now I had an accomplice in creating life. My wife and I, we became this powerhouse power couple of bending the, the will of our mind to the desires that we wanted to be able to produce in life. 
what we learned is that we're powerful. We've been able to manifest incredible miracles by being willing to believe in the impossible. You want to talk about how powerful you are and how powerful your mind is? In this next segment, I'm going to talk about how you leverage the actual strength and power of your mind to produce the results that you want. And I don't know about you, but I'm only just starting to access this power. I've been using it for years. And it makes the difference between normal, mediocre, everyday results and borderline the supernatural. So listen up. If you want to harness more of the power of your mind, it begins with understanding that we attract into our lives whatever our most dominant thoughts are thinking about. So understand this, if we could grasp the power of a single negative thought, we would do everything in our power not to have one. Why? Because in this universe, everything adds up. A positive thought plus a negative thought equals nothing, no things. It doesn't actually move us forward. What it does is it produces mixed results. So instead, I need to find a way to get all of my positive thoughts to align with what I want. And I gotta string them all together. For example, if you say, this year I wanna manifest more money, so I'm gonna be doing my affirmations on, on money flows easily and effortless to me, and, and with money I can do good things, and um, there's these amazing goals that I wanna do with the money that I attract, and there's a way that I wanna give back, but money's only for evil people. Guess what? All of those wonderful things that you wanted just got canceled out by the power of that single negative thought. Understand the power of a negative thought. Negative undoes all the good. So what this means is we gotta start living life with a different math. And the math is instead of one minus one, plus one minus one, plus one plus two minus three. Instead it's just every thought gets to be aligned as an addition. You wanna harness the power of your mind. You wanna manifest the things that you want. You wanna tap into what your real potential is. Then you gotta pick a side. You're either gonna pick the side where, where, where you wanna sometimes be negative and sometimes positive. And I'm telling you, pick a master. Be all negative or be all positive. If you're all negative, then whatever you don't want, you're gonna manifest powerfully. And everything that you do want, if you align only in that, you'll see it express. But you've got to pick sides. Most humans don't know this. And so they'll sometimes do some positive additions and then sometimes they'll do some negative subtractions. But everything adds up. So take that into account when you do your math. No one wants to take three steps forward only to take three steps backwards, have exhibited this effort and have gone nowhere. You know, a lot of people mistake movement and achievement. And what they'll do is they'll take a lot of positive actions, but they'll think negative thoughts. And you can spend your whole day doing positive things and thinking a handful of negative thoughts, and guess what? It produces not what you want. So if you wanna really start harnessing the real power of the mind, pick sides and then learn how to control your thoughts and align everything in the direction of, and allow your dominant thoughts to be what you want. Thank you for watching today's video. Listen, if you really wanna discover how limitless you are and if you want to push the bounds of your mind to its next level, come hang out with me and my team for three days at our monthly three-day limitless breakthrough event. What are we breaking through? Any limitations that get in your way and helping you step into your full potential.